Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the World Class Championship Wrestling Review Series. Uh, we are on the 10th of January, 1987. Uh, 87 is the beginning of the end in a lot of ways for this company and promotion. Um, Black Bart and Lance Von Erich starts the week this week. And uh, Bart is a former world champion. Bart is... A guy who had his better work in other places, Lance Von Eric, a guy who really has been a fixture for quite a while in the world class area by this point, probably about a year, year and a half. Uh, the cousin of the other Von Erics, don't know, I don't think legitimate, because I believe the Von Eric name is actually a, well, actually, I know that it is a storyline name, so. The idea of a cousin has come up and has been helpful, especially in the absence of Kerry Von Erich, who uh, was affected by a motorcycle accident in the uh, months before this. Um, anyway, Bart goes to town on Von Erich, tries to choke, tries to cheat, tries to do just about everything he can, uh, takes early umbrage with every cheap shot he can he can muster and make and um, really is just a complete heel the entire time um, Von Erich does manage some comebacks although I would say it's pretty fair to say that um, the first three four five minutes of the match Bart kind of guzzles, guzzles him a little bit um, by this point Lance has been a singles champion and a tag team champion, one, two, and a kick out of a small package by Von er by uh, Bart as Von Erich nails one. Big clothesline by Bart. Bart does try to get the match going in his general vicinity and function. Doesn't get all he wants out of it, but gets enough. Um, and again. Not a good place to be if you're looking for steady work. But again, by 1987, to put this in context, we are, what, three months away from the uh, benefit of an entire uh, WrestleMania three process here. And obviously the biggest thing in wrestling is going to have a negative effect on all territories, world class included. Uh, stun gun by Bart, they actually go almost 10 minutes into a match, which, if you think about it, uh, they cut commercials out, you're talking about a 42 to 46 minute program, and giving them 10, 11 minutes is a pretty big deal, Lance Von Erich certainly has earned that right, but at the same time, a lot of people do not, um, you know, they're not familiar, they go to the outside, and, um, Von Erich sends Bart into the uh, apron and the steel post. Back inside, hip toss by Von Erich. Drop kicks and head scissors by Von Erich. And um, he hits a couple of head scissors takeovers, which we don't, we don't see those anymore. Um, what I guess we'd call a run of the day, one, two, three, win for Von Erich. Uh, then we go to a clipped match. Gosh, I hate these. Um, the Von Erichs versus Brian and Diaz and Al Madrill um, from a local arena. This is clipped wide open. We we see um, the heels on the floor more than in the ring, at least during the early stages of the match. We we come back and we're clipped. And the Von Erichs again are in control. It is uh, Kevin and uh, Mike that are in this particular match. Uh, Kevin, of course, still your world-class heavyweight champion of the world. And um, I'm not quite sure why he does as many tag matches as he does. I think it's more about needing to fill out cards. Adias and Kevin do some brawling in the middle of the ring. Uh, He's sent back out to the floor again. Uh, it is very clear that the Von Erichs break down the match uh, and cut the ring off on 
uh, Al Madrill. Madrill is a guy who had been here in 82, back here in 87, uh, looking for a stable st territory to work, Irish whip, and a clothesline by Adias on Mike Von Erich. Mike still, over a year later, not fully recovered. I don't know that he ever does recover completely from the uh, the issues, you know, with his with his accident and the subsequent near death experience. Tag off by the heels. Heels cut the ring off once again. Uh, the referee goes down in the in the fray. All four men in the ring, and the referee calls for. The bell, nothing gets solved. I hate matches with no finish. I understand why episodically on te television the belief that the need for them is there, but um, I'm very much the all Japan, New Japan style person. If you can't come up with a finish, then you don't belong putting two guys in the ring. Uh, Scott Casey and the Warrior and Tony Atlas all cut promos. Casey talks about Black Bart and how difficult he was getting him to ride the burrow. Uh, Post-match, uh, the Warrior talks a great deal about wanting to make uh, this year about the Little Warriors and uh, promises to win the tag team belts, promises to make this uh, the best year ever, talks about new people coming in, actually teases a match with Abdullah the Butcher, as does Tony Atlas, who is up next in your promo world. He's talking about being a uh, good old boy and, and uh, getting rid of, of Abdullah the Butcher, kind of giving teases there. Then we go to the... <coughs> excuse me there. Uh, then we go to the grappler against uh, Kevin Von Erich and um, really basic match. Uh, grappler with early advantages and... Uh, Kevin actually climbs the ropes and uses an arm drag uh, off the climbed ropes, drop kick, and a series of them actually by Von Eric. Grappler heads to the outside in a hurry, shots by the grappler to the midsection, gets things going back his way with some punches, a top rope, uh, kind, of, kind of hammer fist by Von Eric, gets things back in the control of the champion, and then we see the body scissors that Kevin is so well known for. Takes uh, Grappler down to the mat, and uh, he stays there for a good bit as Kevin doesn't really um, doesn't really give up much once he's got that uh, uh, body scissors on, at least for a couple of minutes. They usually draw that out. Uh, that's kind of a mid spot. Mid-match spot, um, always odd to me that Kevin Von Erich never made it in other areas of the country, but anyway, Kevin, uh, manages, manages to hold on to, uh, the scissors, uh, hold and gets a victory with the scissors, main event, Steve Simpson and Scott Casey versus Adias and Madrill, uh, they are given about, uh, 12, 10, 12 minutes here. Uh, Simpson and Casey, a on-again, off-again tag team. The heels do a lot of stalling. Uh, Simpson always looks good. Looks like a leaner version of Kerry Von Erich in a lot of ways. Kerry, of course, still out with the uh, leg injury. Madrill manages to get... To, uh, or Scott Casey manages to get Madrill down on the canvas with a uh, series of arm bars and the like. Uh, Madrill tries to break the match up and heads to the outside in a hurry. There's brawls on the floor with uh, Brian Adias. Adias really is embracing the heel roll quite well. Some cheap shots by... Um, in, uh, by Adias on Casey, drop kick, uh, walking the ropes by Casey. Casey, certainly a guy who can do more athletically than a lot of people give him credit for. Uh, match slows down even further, and uh, Sim Steve Simpson back in the ring. Adias with a drop down a leapfrog, but a, but uh, Simpson hits him under the chin with a drop kick, and. Um, 
Adias uh, kind of backing off, backing up. The crowd solidly behind the baby faces. Um, the match breaks down further. Simpson takes a few shots at Madrill and manages to hold his own for a few minutes. Cut off of the ring for a minute or two with uh, Steve Simpson winding up on the receiving end of a, uh, I guess you'd say a knee breaker type maneuver and a uh, spinning toe hold by Adias back in the ring. Only got a few minutes left in the program, so they kind of picked the pace of the match up a little bit. And um, innovative attempted submission. Um, Adias uses the steel post on the outside of the ring to uh, further try to injure his adversary. Tag off to Scott Casey. Not sure why Scott Casey would get the uh, babyface comeback in this one. I would give that to Simpson just because of the, the look and a big power slam attempt and execution by Casey. Uh, come in by Madrill, breaks up the hold. You see. Uh, Steve Simpson fly across the ring with a drop kick while being the illegal man. This gives uh, the chance to uh, win for the heels, and a small package does give the victory to Brian Adias over Scott Casey after interference from Al Madrill. Match continues and is very concise, uh, but uh, that's what we've got for this week. We'll be back with more right after that.